Hello, my friends. All right, I'm going to make sure that I can see myself. I'm gonna push, not hear myself, but see myself on here. Oops. computer work with me here today. Look at that. Okay, I can see it. Okay, I have a mess on my table today. But hopefully you guys will be able to follow along easily even though I have a big mess. I'll try to keep my mess contained. <laughs> so you don't have to see it. <laughs> I'll zoom up a little in a, in a minute, so. All right, um, I am going to be going live on Friday mornings, approximately 10. 10 a.m. ish. Um, right now it's 10 something, 10 13. So I'm not too far off. Um, today's the first day, so thank you for your grace. Um, I it's my birthday month, you guys. So I usually try to have like a birthday class where I give gifts and do fun stuff just to celebrate my birthday for the, for the month of March. But this month I decided, uh, because this month is so busy this year, I decided instead of having it in live person class that I'm going to go live on Facebook every Friday um, and have a birthday card or birthday treat box or something fun hopefully can you get a towel in? um to show you guys and today i made this friendly gnomes i've been dying to use this friendly gnomes stamp set and i hadn't used it yet so uh it's gonna be our first one So I don't know if you guys could hear me or not. I just accidentally pushed my earpiece and started my book. <laughs> so we'll see. All right. So here's what's going on today. Um, after this live, I'm also going to show you guys some bundles that I'm going to be selling um, for $10 each because, you know, why not? It's fun birthday, birthday things. So they're going to be some birthday ones, mostly, I think. So I have this one, and it is one of my absolute favorites. They're all retired. They're all used. Um, so this is going to be $10. This is such a cute stamp set. I love it. I hate to part with it, but I have too much stuff, you guys. And guess what? A bunch of new stuff is coming out that I want. So, <laughs> so here's what it looks like. It has a little bit of staining. Some of our photopolymer ones will, but they're still completely usable. Okay, so $10 for this guy. They're all gonna be $10. $10 for this punch bundle. $10 for this so sentimental one. So this one has dies. So it's, um, the, I'm gonna show you the dies too. But they're stitched so sweetly, guys. And oh my gosh, they're my favorite guys. But I don't use them anymore. So this one has a little magnet holder thing too. But um, they're all stitched. And if you can see how they're scalloped and stitched. And then little um, shapes. Shape ones. So uh, $10 for this set for this bundle 
and this quite curvy set, which is so pretty. And the dies are very pretty. This has dies also, quite curvy. And I don't, I don't really think I even ever used this one. Like, brand spanking new, $10 bundle. Curvy dies. So pretty, look at this ivy. Gorgeous. And then of course it cuts out the stuff inside of here, but isn't that pretty? Okay, $10 for this one, for this bundle. And the last bundle is the strawberry bundle. Sweet strawberry. It has the punch, it's a punch bundle too. And this one is very used. I loved it. And it is stained red. It's used just as much as my other ones that I use, but you know, strawberries are red, so they're very stained red, so. Um, and then this one, oh, I guess it's gonna come with some pieces that are already stamped for you. <laughs> because they're just in there. So you get, you're just gonna get those. If you, if you don't wanna throw them in the trash. <laughs> so $10 for that bundle too, okay? All right, so I'll show those again at the end if uh, anybody joins. All right, and then we'll get started on this card. It's been, I've been lagging long enough. Okay, this is gonna be the cutest card ever. So there's a lot of coloring, obviously. So let me see if I can zoom up a little bit. Uh, let me see if I could do this one live. Oh, yes, I can. All right. So is that too far up? Okay. So the pieces I have here, so I wanna show you guys how I save paper. So I love layering. So you can see this layered piece back here, um, but instead of layering the whole piece back there, I just layered strips. I just got a couple strips and I'm just putting them on the sides because I, I, don't, wanna, I don't wanna waste that much paper. I don't wanna use that much paper. So um, it works out for me to do it that way. And most of it's gonna be stamp, stamp, stamping right on here. And then only one cutout piece with the gnome dies, which are actually not available until March 27th right now. The color I'm using here is mint macaron. And this paper actually is um, the most beautiful paper here. I'll show you, I already pulled it out of here. So this is the stamp set we're using. It's in the mini catalog, it's on page 40. And then this paper that I'm using, it actually is like a, they have it with Valentine's Day paper, but it is pretty for everything. So it's this paper right here. And it's gorgeous. Country gingham. Gingham, is that how you would say it? So, all right. So the way I layered this up is I put, I did put one, full piece on the front right here. And I have these little gems everywhere all over my table. And then these strips Look at this other side. See, isn't it pretty? I love it. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of border, a little white border on the side. And I have three pieces because I'm gonna put a piece on the inside too, just for a little design. I can't tell if I'm on the camera. I have to stand up for this part. 
All right. And then this is for the inside. And I'm just gonna strip, put this strip right here on the side and put this on the inside too. And then we'll get to stamping and coloring our gnomes and their whole entire home. Little, little birthday party they're having. It's so cute. Okay, so this piece is just, I'm popping it up actually, and I'm just popping it up right on top like this. And then you can't even tell that that whole layered piece is not a... Whole piece. That whole piece is not a layer. That whole layer is not a whole piece, Jeez Louise. All right, I'm using mint ma macaron. And I, what I'm gonna do first is I'm using this blending brush and I'm going to kind of make a little background on the bottom. See how I did it on this card? You can see that in the picture. See how I did it? We'll set this over here like this. So you guys can see what we're making. I guess I'm gonna to have to stand up. Okay, so the way I use my blender, my blender brushes is I tap it on my ink pad first. Tap, tap, tap. And then I start on the paper and then bring it in. Because see how when you first start on the paper, it does a big blob. And you don't want that big blob to be on your paper. And I kind of just brought it like, hmm, I don't know, maybe halfway up. Darker on the bottom to make it kind of grassier. And then the stamping's kind of going to cover it up anyways, so it'll be fine. Simple background. Simple, simple background. The rest of the ink we're going to use is going to be black. Whenever you're using blender pens, which we're using today to color, you always want to use the Memento Black ink because it is, it doesn't, it doesn't bleed with the alcohol markers. It's water-based. Water-based, I think. Anyways, just trust me. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're going to first stamp. This little mushroom house. It's so cute. And I'm going to put it about right. About right here, I guess. Perfect. And then we're going to stamp our little squirrel standing on top of the house. How does this girl fit inside of this house anyways? The house must be far away. All right, we're going to stamp this on here. Sorry if my head gets in the way. I can't see very good. Cute. And then we have a little birdie standing on top of his tail. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have the birdie holding a balloon. So the balloon string is longer. So I'm just going to stamp like half of it like this. I'm not going to stamp the whole thing. If you can see that in the camera. I think I'm going to need to get a drink of water. And right here. <coughs> Hold on. Sorry. All right. <coughs> wow. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for one sec while I stamp my little Nomi. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm choking and dying over here. Okay, and where did my Nomi go? Here she goes, oh my gosh. And isn't this Nomi so cute, you guys? Look at her, so adorable. 
I liked her a lot with her little braids. The other gnome set we had, I don't think had a girl. <clears throat> Maybe it did. No, I don't think it did. So I'm gonna stamp her on here. And she's so cute. Look at her little eyeball peeking out under her hat. She's really cute. All right. So because it's celebrating my birthday, I wanted to put a girl gnome on here. So, all right, and then, oh, you do have to do the birth, oh, I hope I left in the room, I did, okay. We have to stamp the birthday. I'm wishing you the most magical of birthdays. <clears throat> Great, all done. That's all the stamping. Next, all we're doing is color, 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 coloring. Okay, so what do you guys think so far? Looks nice. Super simple card. Super simple choking and dying right now. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's see. We are going to color up now this house. I'm trying to figure out what colors I used. I think I used these. Dark soft suede for the frames of the house. Am I still on the camera? I think I am. Goodness gracious. And then I did I The lines and then I'm gonna blend it all with a light color. And then light soft suede. Place my light soft suede uh, marker. The big brush seems to be a little dried out. Sometimes, you know, me and my uh, friends at stamp camp last week or last month were trying to figure out how to re-ink the uh, marker pens, the blender pens, with re-inkers. We we're watching a video, but haven't done it yet. Need to do it, figure it out. Has anybody here tried that before? <clears throat> I'm gonna do the window with a light crumb cake. Just cause the inside of the house is probably brown too. It's the inside of a mushroom, am I right? And then I'm gonna use these greens. This is dark soft sea foam for these I guess I used it on these little uh, stepping stones too in these leaves and dark yellow dark daffodil delight for the flowers so even though I did uh, I didn't sponge it. What did I do? I did this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. You can still color over it is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to do red. And I think this is the light real red. I didn't want it to be like so, so dark. It was kind of like a subtle, a subtle coloring job on this uh, card because of the mint macaron is a, is a lighter color. So I just used the lighter red, but it still pops it out. Like a top of a mushroom kind of reminded me of Mario Brothers. All right, and then I did, I think I'm gonna use dark 
on the cake. All right, cute. Okay, little squirrel, what color are you gonna be? Crumb cakey color? I do love these blender pens. I've loved them ever since they came out. And if you haven't tried them before, they're amazing. They blend so nice and color so nice. I love them. I think I want him a little bit darker than that. You could have a little bit of white color Sorry about that. All right. And then this little yellow guy. This birdie is yellow. I guess like a canary. And I'm going to give him a tiny little red nose, I guess. So I don't have orange. I forgot my orange over here. And then the balloon is going to be this sea foam. I didn't have any mint macaron pens. I don't know if we have mint macaron pens. I would assume we do. But there are some colors that don't come in the blender pens. But I'm not sure if mint macaron is one of them. But I didn't have any, so I used soft sea foam, and I think it turned out fine. Worked great. All right, so we're going to color this little girl. And I'm going to color her little dress yellow. Daffodil, light daffodil. Sorry if my head is in the way. Just shout at me to get out of the way. And then I'm going to use light, light soft seat foam for her other public dress. Actually, <clears throat> that's very light. I'm going to use dark. That's just a little too light. I can't really see it myself. Sorry, I have to concentrate. <laughs> okay, so Stampin' Up! came out with all of these uh, blender pens that are skin colors, which are really cool. So I'm using a skin color one, which is like a, this one's kind of pinky, I just feel like. I don't know, I don't know why. I just feel like gnomes don't get a lot of sun. <laughs> For her hair, I did a dark and light crumb cake. I'm gonna make 
her have some highlights because I think it's cute. Even though she doesn't get a lot of sense, she has highlights. Hmm, Jennifer, wow. Just natural, I guess. I saw it on somebody else's and I just loved it. So cute. Purdy, look at how purdy she is. Can you see how purdy she is? Okay, so then I would cut her out with the gnome dies. So the gnome dies, let me tell you about these gnome dies. They're really cool. They were available in at Christmas time and they came out with all these different kinds of little things. Um, this mushroom is big. It doesn't cut out the mushroom in this stamp set, but it cuts out the mushroom in the other stamp set. But these cut out the little, uh, the, the guys that are inside of this stamp set. But, um, it also makes this gnome <laughs> with this little beard and nose and hat and shoes. That's just really cute, you guys. It's, it's all over the place. It's so cute. Anyway, they're available March 27th, I think they're out of. So I went and cut that out already, okay? Ta-da, here it is. So I'm going to stick this guy on with some, some of these. Uh, stick this girl on with these. Dimensionals, and I'm also sticking this on with dimensionals. And there's probably easier ways to take all these dimensionals off. But this is the easiest way I have found. Just with my fingernails. It's just fastest for me. Alright, so here's my card. Bringing it back. I already put all these pieces on. <clears throat> and I'm just lining this up. And then my little girl is going to go right here. And then I have these gems. I don't think that they are available anymore right now. But we have tons of gems in the catalog, you guys. So pick any kind you want. And gems always make everything so much prettier. So pick some. I use these ones because they had mint macaron. These came from the oceans. It was like a waves and ocean set we still have it we just don't i don't think we have these gems anymore but these gems are everywhere now they're just falling off of this thing but there you go what do you think so cute right oh look at how i did it on here i like this gym placement better i also put this higher cute okay so this was my card that I was making today. Next time I think I'm going to make another card, but also a, um, a treat, a treat thing. So let me try to see if I could zoom this back out a little, ignore my mess. And okay. So here's the, here's the sets that I have on sale for $10 each. Okay. I'm going over them just one more time real fast. Sweet strawberry bundle, $10. These are birthday, these are my birthday uh, deals. Turtle friends. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you. I really like it. It's really cute. I love the gnomes. Quite curvy. Um, stamp set and the dies and the dies are super cute. You can rewatch from the beginning. I showed them all. Uh, I, sh I opened everything better. So 
and the So Sentimental and the Stitched So Sweetly dies. These go together. All those bundles are $10 each. They're deals for my birthday, my birthday month. Every, uh, every Friday I'll be live, hopefully around 10 o'clock. And I will have new bundles that are, that will be for sale. Um, leave me comments. I'm going to send some, I'm going to send these cards out. Um, and so I will, if you leave a comment, which, so Stephanie, you just left a comment. So I'm going to probably message you for your address. I think I already have it, but I'll probably do it anyway, just so I can keep on track and, um, and mail you one of these cards. All right. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you guys next Friday. Or if you're coming to stamp camp, um, I'll show you guys a sneak peek of something we're making. We're making these cards. One of these out of the new suite of products that's online exclusive only. Aren't these cute? They're, it's a fun fold. And then you write on the back. Isn't that so cute? So some people will get blue. Some people will get pink. Anyway, they're so, so cute. And you fold them like this to mail them. Mails perfectly like a regular card. Then pops up like this. They can set it up like this. Isn't that pretty? I'm loving this new suite of products. It's called Irresistible. Hello Irresistible. I forgot what it's called. But anyway, it's uh, online exclusive only. So anyway, we're going to make that tonight at Stamp Camp. All right, cool. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining. Bye.